And good evening to you on this Monday. I'm John Erickson. Thanks for watching NBC 26. Authorities say two Manitowoc Family Dollar employees are held at gunpoint, tied up, and left in a storage room as two robbers get away with cash. NBC 26's Eric Crest has the latest on the search for those robbers. It was Sunday night at around 9 p.m. when two men walked into the Family Dollar off of South 30th Street in Manitowoc. Uh, we don't have a specific amount of time, but we believe that uh, they may have been uh, either in the store or um, around approximately a half hour. One of the men allegedly showed an employee here a black handgun, then forced both of the night shift employees to a storage room in back, where they were tied up and left for a future customer to discover. They obviously were involved in a a little more of a traumatic situation, so we want them to um, feel a little bit more at ease that they're not being identified. And obviously, they were they were very scared and frightened uh, based on what happened to them. Even the the threat of a gun, um, you know, should and probably did scare them. The men would make off with an undisclosed amount of cash and 50 packs of Newport cigarettes. Tonight, police are looking into every potential lead, even a possible getaway car. It was a very vague description. Uh, we were told that it's a darker colored vehicle. We don't have any make or model on that vehicle. Investigators have reached out to businesses in the strip mall to try to obtain surveillance video to get a better idea of who they're looking for. Because right now, these suspects are only being described in very vague terms. The first one, a male black in his late 20s to mid 30s approximately five foot six to five foot eight inches tall with black hair. The second suspect is also described as a male black, approximately five feet four inches tall with black hair. Keeping you connected in Manitowoc, I'm Eric Crest with NBC 26. Manitowoc police are offering a $500 reward for any tip that leads to arrests. In meantime, police say the employees who were tied up and left in the back of that store are expected to be okay.